Hey guys, U238 here, and today we're going to be taking a look at my new Geiger counter. So previously I've always used a uh, one of these cheaper GQ GMC 320 Pluses, but I recently got this Ludlow Model 3 for around $500 on eBay, and uh, we're going to test out uh, these uh, three sources here with it. So with the sound on there so you can hear it, we can go ahead and check the test source on the side. See that it does work. Um, now just, for not, just to have no interference here, I'm going to move this over. First, test out this uranium glass. That picks up a little bit. Next, we can uh, move that over. We test out the uranium ore here. This is metatorbonite. Metatorbonite, I believe. I bet it's a pronounced at least. Looks like we're getting about, uh, well, I guess it's 40, 30, 35,000 counts per minute. That's only 30 now. All right. Then we can check out this here, um, Fiesta Ware, the uranium glaze. That's a recent acquisition I've made. That's going up right about uh, 50,000 counts per minute. So we can now see how this, how sensitive this is compared to the uh, Budlam there. Turn that on there. I'll turn off the sound off this. You can also come over here and check out the uh, ore. And just see see the difference there. Uh, this is actually a little bit uh, hotter than I expected. Um, was not expecting it to be as radioactive as it actually is. Now in this box lay something much more radioactive than all of these items. And it remains lead lined. So here's your typical, well not so typical pitch blend, uh, you're in a night. Um, this is a very hot sample. Uh, this actually is from Utah. Um, the other piece I have is from uh, is technically from the Dem Democratic Republic of Congo. These are sample uh, pieces from a mineralogical company when they were mining. These were samples that this uh, one of the employees kept. Uh, now this one was actually tested using gamma spectroscopy and found out to have high levels of radium and thorium in there. So let's go ahead and test it with the ludlum. I'm already going to turn on the sound. As you can see, it's already going off a little bit. We can bring it closer here. You can see here how it's already maxing it out at that range. So I'll come over here. We're going to crank this up to 100. Just see what we get here. Making it scream. Now this even makes my uh, GMC 320 Plus screen. We'll turn that on over here. I'll bring it over here first. Now, with the GMC 320 Plus, we'll get about 50,000 counts per minute. Um, actually, sometimes 55,000 counts per minute. I believe it was in the... F I know this actually measured with an ion chamber will put out 1.3 milliremes per hour. That is a certified reading with a calibrated uh, fluke ion chamber that was performed by my state uh, environmental agency. So this is a very hot, hot source. And another cool object I have here that's not radioactive is this. This is an old Soviet x-ray tube that I might make an x-ray machine with, but not sure yet. So, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. Uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I might make another video. We'll find out.